Hi guys, I'm here for my WWE TLC prediction video. Yes, I'm outside on a nice sunny day here in Liverpool. It's windy, but it's sunny. I'm here in my, my university campus. Just thought it'd be something different. So, uh, yeah, um, we have five confirmed matches for WWE TLC. And um, I'm looking forward to it. You know, TLC always is a really, really good pay-per-view. It always is really, really good. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so we have five confirmed matches so far. Um, and TLC, it always is such a barbaric pay-per-view, you know, it's always so good. Like last year's TLC, you know, we've got Dean Ambrose and AJ and that amazing main event. You know, we've got Dolph and Miz. Um, we have some really good matches. It's always just a chaotic pay-per-view. It's always some really hardcore pay-per-view. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So we have five matches announced and let's get started. So we have the new WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Kalisto, going up against... <laughs> Enzo Amore for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Um, yeah, <laughs> Kalisto is now the Cruiserweight Champion. What? He just won it. He just won it on Raw in a, in a lumberjack match against Enzo. Really, really strange. Why? Why would Kalisto win it? Just, just like that. Apparently, I heard it was because um, Enzo, not Enzo, Neville was meant to schedule him, but we all know Neville apparently is leaving WWE. Apparently, he's pissed off with how he's being booked on 205 Live. And he's not really happy about it, so yeah, I've heard rumours that Neville is leaving sadly. So yeah, no, obviously, obviously Kalisto's going to retain. Kalisto's definitely retaining. Um, they're not going to put it back on Endo straight away, are they? Uh, yeah, Kalisto to um, keep hold of the belt, definitely, absolutely. It should be a good match though, but I'm just so pissed off that um, that Neville's left. Really, really pissed off. Why the hell's Neville gone? It just tells you a lot when Neville and Austin Aries, two of the most talented cruiserweights have now left the cruiserweight division. What what's going on? And I hope I wish Neville the best of luck wherever he goes. Um, he's a such a good such a good talent. Fuck you WWE for letting them go. Um, then we have a match which hasn't been announced but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be announced. Um, we have Bray Wyatt going up against Finn Balor. The third pay-per-view match these two have had now. Um, yeah we all thought it had ended after um, No Mercy where um, Finn won clean again, but no, um, Bray's back, but he's back as Sister Abigail. Yes, yeah, Sister Abigail is finally going to make her debut. Um, I'm not. <laughs> this should be really cool, but the way they've done, the way they've gone about it is so shit. She looks. It's just basically Sister Abigail is Finn Balor in makeup. It looks so bad it, with a, with a female voice. It's like that's Sister Abigail. So I assume they're going to have another match, and I'm I'm really not looking forward to it at all. I just because I think this, this gimmick with this gimmick with Bray and Sister Abigail so shit. It's so bad. So, but I hope this is the end of the fa end end of the feud. Now this should have ended. It should have ended at No Mercy since since Finn's already two 0 up. But um, yeah, I'm going to go with Bray Wyatt. Because why would they have Finn lose three times in a row? Finn, Finn win, Finn win three times in a row. Don't, I don't know. So I'm going to go with Bray to um, retain, retain Bray to win, finally. But yeah, and then this is this can be that can be the end of the shit feud, and then they can, they can both go on to something a lot better in the next the next pay per view. May, I've heard rumours that Finn wants to go after Brock after this, so maybe he'll have a match with them. Um, Maybe have a match with Brock at Survivor Series. Maybe we'll see. Then we have Asuka. Asuka making her pay-per-view main roster debut. Woo! It's so windy. <laughs> Got a leaf now. Asuka making her main roster debut up against Emma. Yes, Asuka is now on the main roster. We haven't seen anything about her. They've just been teasing it. And so we're going to see her on the main roster against Emma. Should be a good match. Um, Asuka and Emma. You they had they had some good matches in that NXT, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, obviously, obviously Asuka's gonna win since she's undefeated and this is her main roster debut. She's gonna beat Emma in like ten minutes, but it should be an entertaining match. I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, obviously Asuka's gonna win, and maybe she'll get a title push after this. Maybe she'll go on to face Alexa at um, Survivor Series, maybe. But yeah, obviously Asuka's gonna win. But it should be a good match though, because Asuka and Emma they had some good matches in NXT. I mean NXT London, they had a great match. So. Yeah. Oh shit. Looking forward to this. So uh, yeah, drop, drop, try and just drop the book. What's the next pay-per-view? What's the next match now? Oh, fuck's 
see. Right, and the next match, I believe, is, um, yeah, Alexa Bliss going up against, um, oh, what's her name? Alexa Bliss going up against Mickey James. Yeah, Mickey James has suddenly got a title shot after being so redundant on the roster now for so long. Yeah, she's suddenly got a title shot. It's out of nowhere, really. But, um, yeah, and the feud's been good. Basically, they've been teasing how um, she's really redundant now. She's old. She's an old-timer. Um, she can't keep up anymore, even though she's only, what, 37? It's not that old. I mean, fucking AJ Styles is 40. Chris Jericho is 46. So, it's like, why are they making the piss out of her just because she's old now? It's, that's a stupid feud, I think. Stupid reason. But, anyway, I'm, I'm happy to put Alec, uh, Mickey James back on this big picture now. And this should be a good match. Um, although, I've got Alexa Bliss to retain, yeah. They're not going to put it on Mickey. They're not going to put it on Mickey James, sadly. No, she's just um, there to put over the young talent, pretty much. Just like... Uh, big show so yeah I'm gonna go with Alexa Bliss to retain but I don't think it'll be a clean finish I think I think Mickey will be about to beat Alexa but then out, out will come um, maybe what's her name Nia Jax might come out and win help her win then maybe Alexa Bliss will feud maybe we'll have a triple threat at Survivor Series Alexa Bliss um, Nia Jax and Asuka that'll be a good yeah but Mickey's not gonna win here no no way she's gonna win um, to put over Asuka like she should <sighs> And then on to the main event. Yes, um, we have a three on four handicap tag team match. A tables, ladders and chairs match, I believe. The Shield are back, yes. Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins finally reunited, reuniting The Shield. One of the best moments of WWE the past couple of years. It's so good to see all three of them back. And um, yeah, okay, they're going up against The Miz. Braun Strowman and Shizaro. Um Yeah, so it's four on three, but that's not going to bother the Shield, is it? And I can't wait for this. I think this is going to be a really good match. One of the best matches of the year. Um, there's going to be so many good spots. Um, I can't wait. It just feels so good to see the Shield are finally back. It was such a good moment. The pop was so huge. I mean, they were teasing it for a while, weren't they? And it had to happen. It had to have happened eventually. The, all three of them reunited. They've even brought out a new T-shirt. That's going to sell out fast. Um, it's so good to see them all back, and I think it's it's an it's a genius bit it's a genius bit of booking by WWE to reform the Shield because now Roman is getting cheered again. He's not getting booed again now. He's in the Shield. Now he's the back being the leader of the Shield. It's great. Um, and of course, this is going to be a great great match. Now Braun Strowman's added to the feud. It's going to be great because I thought at first it was just going to be the Shield against the Miztourage, and I was like, the Miztourage, the, the Miz with Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel, they're going to get squashed by the Shield in five minutes. But but no. Um, the much stronger team, Shazaro with Braun Strowman, teamed up with The Miz. That's going to be a great match. Um, it's going to be a lot of really good spots, definitely. This is going to be a 30, 40 minute match, definitely. Can't wait. Um, even though it's just pretty much, I think it's just a one-off. We all know it's a one-off because we all know Miz. I mean, we all know um, Shazaro. Bloody hell. We all know Miz. Oh my God! <laughs> we all know that Rollins and Ambrose um, are going to probably redefend their tag team belts at Survivor Series and Roman will probably go on to face Miz maybe for the Intercontinental Championship maybe so yeah this is just a one-off seeing them back but it is a, it's a great one-off I can't wait to see what's gonna happen so yeah that is that I think the Shield are gonna win in what will be a great 30-40 minute match with so many good spots there so uh, yeah that is tables, ladders and chairs we only have five matches well technically four but with Bray and Finn we'll be added we're gonna be have one or two matches more out announced but that's it we only have four ma matches that have been announced and it's, it's this Sunday, so yeah, they need to add some more in soon, or it's going to be weird. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be a great pay-per-view, and I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, yeah, what are your predictions for uh, TLC? Comment below, and let me know. So thank you for watching, guys. I unfortunately, I'm the guy there with the suitcase. <laughs> I, unfortunately, I didn't have Callum with me, because um, he had outside commitments, unfortunately. So Callum will be back, hopefully, for Survivor Series, with our predictions then, in about, in about three weeks. So yeah, I will be back in about three weeks, or with my action video. I'll be back soon for my TLC reaction video next week. And then I'll be back in about three weeks after that for my Survivor Series prediction video. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully it hasn't been too windy. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.